Greetings and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is David or Dave again, and this will be the second video on my playlist on my battery restoration or rejuvenation attempts on these absorbent glass mat type of sealed lead acid uh, rechargeable batteries. Again, this 12 volt 7.2 amp hour VR LA rechargeable battery. I had it connected to K Walraven's desulfation uh, circuitry or uh, battery reconditioner for almost 14 days approximately as much time as I've had the 6 volt battery connected onto the Aussie Callanan circuit however with this particular battery uh, not only that I couldn't rejuvenate restore it but even something worse happened the voltage on the ladder uh, co completely completely uh, collapsed and I'll show you that in a couple of moments However, to be completely honest, I was observing uh, the battery much more up close. So about four days ago, I decided to have a look at the voltage. What is the state of the battery? And when I um, measured it, uh, because when I connected the battery onto the Wallraven circuitry, it, I think the voltage was at around 11.3 volts. But when I checked it this time, it has fallen almost one volt. Uh, it was around... I think 10.54 or 55 volts and not only that uh, the bubbling noise which I've shown you in the when I did the introductional video on this circuitry has also stopped no bubbling noise going around and with the voltage drop I said this is has to be something wrong with this so I immediately disconnected the battery from the circuitry but that was not the end of bad news Additional unpleasant news that spawned from my initial observation on the battery also continued. Uh, so after unplugging uh, the battery from the circuitry, the voltage dropped by an additional 1 volt, so to 9.5 volts. And that in the course of 2 hours dropped by another 1 volt as well, so 8.5 volts. And if that wasn't uh, worrying enough, then other problems started appearing. For instance, the battery was becoming unusually hot in this area over here. So my suspicion was that probably two cells at least were in some direct contact, the, they were shorted or the electrodes, the plates as such, became deformed in some other manner. This thermal effect ergo also sort of piqued my curiosity, so I decided to remove the top plastic cover of the battery and have a look inside each of the six individual cells through those very tiny portholes over here and to my shock or surprise an additional one and I think it was this cell over here to be very precise I pulled out this piece of the broken electrode that was inside so this is quite a big piece, you know, if you consider how uh, small these portholes are on the battery. And when I uh, saw this, I said, oh, this battery is finished. No point in trying to restore it. But nevertheless, uh, the next day I measured the voltage on the ladder to see if, how was the state. And it stopped at around 2 or 2.5 two volts. So when we will measure the voltage now, we'll see whether the surprise is even worse. And the battery continues to surprise me or amaze me even further. So from 2.5 volts, I think there was also a 2 volt line somewhere in between or 2.18. We ended up a little less than 1 volt, 0 0.95 or 96 and so that is just completely ridiculous considering that uh, the voltage on the battery when I got it before the chemical part of the restoration you know if I was to move the dot over here it was uh, nine and a half volts so after charging it uh, I got it up to ten and a half the maximum that I was able to achieve was I think 11.4 volts and seeing uh, this collapse is just simply very devastating but hey, you win some, you lose some. However, uh, before I 
you could say wrap up this video presentation because there's nothing really I can do here at this point. Let's talk a little bit about possible reasons. Uh, I don't think that Wallraven circuitry destroyed the battery because uh, when I did the introductional video on the ladder, I told you that there was unusual bubbling going around uh, in this battery, especially when you consider that this voltage is such uh, when it charges the battery or tries to regenerate it, rejuvenate it, it doesn't use steady current uh, as such and even not uh, steady voltage. It produces 50 or 60 volt pulsating spikes and that is not enough to start uh, the bubbling or the boiling, you could say, of the electrolyte inside. So I think that the battery, uh, even before, in terms of prerequisite, had uh, probably some sort of structural problems or the challenges in terms of um, electrodes integrity. And uh, ball raven circuitry probably just accelerated that uh, process of decay. Now, whether the integrity problems of the electrodes were uh, caused by uh, improper discharging or overcharging the battery, that is up for debate. I don't even know how old is this battery, where it has been used, also environmentally wise, uh, micro vibrations and so, even though of course we know nowadays that uh, manufacturers add calcium to the lead plates in order to make them much more stiff, sturdy and uh, and durable, but nevertheless, regardless or even though, I will always have second thoughts or you could say <laughs> minor technical nightmares, how uh, things would have proceeded differently or ended up uh, otherwise if I hadn't uh, connected the battery onto Wall Raven's circuitry and instead use Ossie Callanan's approach. With the voltage on the battery uh, still collapse, uh, would the cells become shorted? Uh, or maybe uh, the rejuvenation could have gone much more smoothly. But probably those uh, structural problems that relate to integrity of the battery's plates might still be present. And uh, if I was to use the battery a couple of times, I could get even uh, a different unpleasant yet still the same result I don't know it's hard to tell but definitely there's nothing I can do for this battery so this is therefore uh, the end of this video proof on this battery uh, process of or attempt of restoration which has utterly utterly failed uh, nevertheless if you liked this video my uh, explanation possible reasons of its failure leave uh, the like button checked. If you have any additional thoughts or corrections, leave all that in the comment section of the video, which is open. Other than that, subscribe for more battery restoration attempts or failures and uh, share. This is David. Have a great day.